What's up? This week, Apple announced the newest software update to the iPhone, iOS 16, and they released the first developer beta. This update included a lot of new and cool features, the biggest one being the overhaul to the lock screen. It's been the same almost since the beginning of the iPhone, and now Apple has completely redesigned it to be super customizable. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your new lock screen with iOS 16, as well as go over some of the new lock screen features that were added. Let's jump right into it. The new lock screen in iOS 16 is way more personalized. Apple's added the ability to customize the font, change its color, have the time appear in front of or partially behind a background image, and they added a wide range of new Apple lock screens. If you like widgets, you can now add them to your lock screen as well for quick access to your favorite apps. There's also the ability to save multiple lock screens, just like watch faces on the Apple Watch, and you can link these different lock screens to different focus modes. Apart from customization, there were a few more other features also added to the lock screen. Notifications now roll in from the bottom to give you a better view of your new lock screen, and you can swipe them away with a new notification icon appearing at the bottom of the screen. Apple also released a new notification called Live Activities. Now, instead of getting multiple updates for points scored in a game, or the status of your Uber ride, you'll have one notification that automatically updates. For the next part of this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to customize your lock screen with iOS 16. When you turn your iPhone on, you'll now have the ability to customize your lock screen simply by holding down on the screen. When you do so, you'll have the option to select one of your saved lock screens or start completely fresh by swiping over and clicking Add New. This will show you a menu with a variety of Apple lock screen templates such as weather and astronomy, emojis, collections, color, and more. You can also select one of your own photos directly from your photo library by going to the top and clicking Photos. You can then filter your photos by people, pets, I'm going to go to pets and I'm going to choose this picture of my dog Hanabi. He hates the car. You can add a number of filters to this image to make it black and white or in color. And once you found your perfect background photo, you can customize the time. There are a number of different fonts to choose from. And you can even change the color down here at the bottom and use the color slider to really dial it in. But I'm just going to stick with white. You can also customize this top widget. You can select from any of these options. I think I'm going to choose the weather and the date at the top. And you can even change the widget under the time. There's a lot of options here as well. I think I'm going to check out my meetings for tomorrow, my battery percentage, and let's throw in my rings from my Apple Watch. When you have the perfect background, just click done at the top to save it. And like I mentioned before, you can have a number of saved backgrounds and you can even link them to a focus. For example, let's take this background and link it to my sleep focus. Now, whenever I'm on this background, do not disturb while sleeping is turned on. And to turn it off, I can simply just change to my daytime background. That's about it for lock screen updates. If you found this video helpful, please let me know down in the comments and leave a like on this video because it helps me out a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to click subscribe so you never miss when I post, and I'll see you guys in the next one.